We ready. What are we gonna listen to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get rolling. What are we doing? That was that was a lot going on. Uh we're gonna make a hammer today. I've got some metal that I've been collecting. Uh let me get that together and I'll show you. You know, and it's not it's not called hoarding if you're gonna use it. So I mean I've been collecting a bunch of these metal bars here. And what I'm thinking is we're gonna make ourselves a Thor hammer. Thor-esque inspired hammer. Let me turn down this belly, y'all. I'm screaming at y'all. Um, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it up into some little bitty pieces over there on the chop saw, the metal cutting chop saw. Uh, well, how long, Ryan? I don't know. I mean, normal hammer is about that big. What if we did two of them? About that big. Huh? That's how I plan my stuff. How do y'all, uh, how do y'all plan out the things that y'all do? I don't know. Try not to give it very much thought. That way it's nice and pure. What is that, four and a half? Nine? Uh oh. I think it's gonna weigh a lot. Nine inches. We're gonna cut a bunch of those up and I'll get y'all guys set up and gals. Uh, get that set up and then we'll start to chopping before our snow comes in again. Am I gonna pull drop stuff? Hey, come on. Before the snow comes in again, I'm gonna utilize ah, a little bit of nice weather we got. Last couple weeks it's been cold and snowy and rainy. Oh, hey, ma'am. How are you today? All right, got struck. Cut one for the handle too. I wasn't too bad. What was that like for a minute? Minute for y'all? Ah, it took forever. Yeah! I mean, if you haven't done it, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Just go ahead and knock it out. Let's do that. Um, so we've got nine bars at nine inches. Now, some of them have got some slag and stuff that I've obviously got to clean up off of here. And I'll, I'll probably go through with the wire, the cheek poker, and uh, clean everything up. Maybe even the grinder and grind some of the stuff flat. I don't want to change the shape. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to clean them up a little bit. So, my thinking is that we'll take, ah, that might be the last one I cut there. It's a little hot. I did pretty good getting nine inches across the board, just using a tape with no uh, stop block. What I thought that I could do, thinking again, put three down, run us a bead, run us a bead. Put this one on, run us a bead. That one on, run us a bead, run us a bead. So on, so forth. Just for a second. All right, that's I can get big trouble. Oh, Sir Elton. Um, so we'll take the nine, run us some lines there. Look at that. 
That's a... Well, that there's pretty hefty already, don't you think? Let's back y'all up since this bad boy's so big. Um, so we'll get all that welded together. And then, ah, hot. What was this, what's this hair doing? What's this hair doing out there? Do I look okay? I just got home from work. Um, we'll get done with that. And then I will fill all of this in right here with hoiled. Um, got an idea. What if instead of solely relying on me welding that into there, what if I cut this piece, shoop, shoop, where both of those are even? That way we could just set that guy in there, weld, 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 and then we could throw our shorter piece in. Sparks, sparks, out. I'm wearing Crocs, so it's getting on my toes. Ah, spark, spark, spark. And then when we're done, turn it around, we'll weld the other side. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. How are we going to hit anything? I don't know, it's more so just because I've been staring at the bars for seven years and I've been wanting to always do this. And so I decided we were going to do it. What else you got planned? Let me show you. Um, maybe take this here wire. I wish I had some flat stock. I don't know if I have any flat stock. But maybe take this wire. I mean, just do what you're supposed to. Maybe take the wire and uh, wrap it around. Make it look like this is holding everything together. Let's do it! Make sure you wear safety glasses when you're doing operations that might have things that fly into your eyeballs. Um, we're going to see... <laughs> ah! uh, it's the Red Bull kicking in. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Uh, we're going to see if this is going to work or not. Oh, yeah. After cutting those nine, ten, whatever bars, look how cool that is. Ah! It's like it's welded itself together. How cool! I need to paint my nails. Oh! All right, David. I got a little star man going. Oh no! Audible credit's about to expire. Well, that's no good. Um, if y'all got any audiobook suggestions, put it down in the old comment section for me. Ha! Ah, those uh, four inch ones are a little hot. Um, so, we need to, we've got everything laid out. Um, I think it's going to look pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I've got, that was me, uh, thinking whether or not I was going to tell you what I had planned for the, for the fronts. Um, I'm not. Uh, I am. I'm going to polish them up really, really pretty to make like a mirror finish on it. If I can! I've never done that before. Talking a lot. Let's get to weld. Alright, we're going to weld these. Uh, now... got a flat surface um, we're gonna lay our pieces out like we said and are we gonna clamp them together no because uh, it's gonna be hard to clamp on those points right there let's let's start welding let's turn on uh, I'm using shielded wire <laughs> non shielded wire I'm using argon gas I'm still new at this whole welding thing here ah. hush up Ryan let's get welding I guess I could play old uh, David back, can I? Mr. Starman! Na, 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 na. If I open up the door, is that gonna be 
too much of a glare? I sure would like it. The things I do for you. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we're grounded to the table, so we should be good to go. Um, sit back. I love welding. It's just, it's very, very therapeutic. What we'll do is, just like in woodworking, I'll focus on making one side flat, because then at the end, we can kind of grind that side flat. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in here? See if you can hear me. Just a little tic tac. I'll get you in close so we can see what we're doing on the top. All right, this is what we've got. It is not straight. <laughs> but we're going to cover that up with a weld, and all we're really going to see is this top, sides, and bottoms. Oh. Mm. All right. So we got that. We got our hand out. Where's our hand out? Where's our hand out? Mm -hmm. It's like a random net. So that's kind of where that needs to sit. How are you going to weld that, Ryan? Ah! Weld that like that. That should be. Yeah, that's going to look pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna weld that side, pop that out, and then, uh, oh God, y'all are twisted around. What's going on with the video auger, video, the videoing of this thing? I don't know. You don't need to be afraid on how it's going to look if it's your idea. You know, this is an idea that was in my head. Is it going 100% like I wanted it to? Kinda. But I mean, that's what making is. It's, it's creating something out of your head and playing with it. Like if it's not the way you wanted it the first time, guess what you get to do? You get to do it again if you want to. And if you get so frustrated the first time that you don't want to do it anymore, you can do that. That's what I'm saying. Don't ever be intimidated about making, about welding, about anything. Just do it. Just do it, just do it, just do it. I'm speaking to myself, too. Hey. Hey, I'm up. I'm going to weld the rest of all this up. I'm going to get that grinded flat. Uh, we'll probably throw it on a time lapse again. We'll come back when we start getting this thing. We got a little crooked. It's alright. It's expected. I've been pumping a lot of heat into this. 
We'll come back when we're uh, grinding the ends. Uh, that way I can zone out and I don't have to worry about y'all being here. Not that I mind y'all. Hey, I don't ever mind y'all being here. I just might be, might be easier for the both of us. Hey, you know another band you don't see too, too much of? 10cc. Hmm. Oh well. I think they're pretty good. Well, we're a little crooked, as you can see, but I don't care. It's about what the thing is, you know. My wife came in, she said, what you making? And I showed her the bars and everything, and she said, you saw those bars laying on the ground and you saw Thor's hammer. I said, I sure did, baby. I can't help it. I feel like a madman sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna flatten those like we talked about, and then go through and fill all those up with some hoiled. And then we're gonna, we're off quite a bit. So I have to trim those flat. <laughs> oh, it's gonna suck. That's all right. And then we'll clean everything up. And uh, what, do y'all wanna come back after I've done all that? Because I mean, I told you what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah. Uh, can I hold it with one hand? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna try something. Hey Alexa, play music by 10cc. Y'all go listen to some 10cc. Can I hold it up with one hand? We shall come back. That's when I edit it, and if I remember to make a clap when we come back, then you'll see that. But if not, this is what you saw. Oh! <laughs> Beware, my love, wings. Uh, look up the John Bonham version. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. All right, we're gonna weld this up. Y'all sit back, relax. Take it easy. You know what I mean? fresh off the old grinder. I just swapped it out to the flap disc. I'll do that and hopefully get rid of, ow, hopefully get rid of some of those things like that. And then we'll round everything to kind of make it look nice and pretty. Yeah. So what, y'all wanna see that? It's kind of more of the same thing. I'll just kind of check back with you. How's that sound? I'm just doing this to kind of get it the same level across each one of these. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, and I'll go in with some higher grits and clean up 
but I kind of like it. Like I said, I'll go through and See, all I have is a GoPro, so y'all gonna have to get what you get. Don't pitch fit. Think it's pretty cool. I mean, you could see all the where the welds were, but I think that's part of the art. Maybe. Peachy, y'all wanna. This is one of the things I do when I'm in the shop. Um, Peachy sleeps upstairs. What's up, dude? You say hello, handsome? You just waking up? Yeah? He comes in every now and then in the house and sleeps, but this is his home out here. He's got a pretty cool house, dude. Ah, we're going to feed Peachy real quick. Am I going to leave this in? I don't know. I mean... I love my peachy. In case my peachy ever does decide to run off and not come back, I've got videotape of me feeding my peach. Yes, sir. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I love my peachy. How old are you, peach? Five, six, seven? I think you're about six or seven. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to doing all that hand sanding and making it look kind of like the way I want it to. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out pretty fair dinkum. What do y'all think about putting this? Sorry, sorry. What do y'all think about putting this right here? Like diet, making it look like that's how it's held together. I wish I had some flat strap bar. Something like this. But a little bit littler. I do not. I just not have that kind. Um, Alright, so we'll do all that. We'll come back because I don't want to bore y'all. I know be your beast of burden. I like it. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. Ah! Bye! Uh-oh. Bye! Come on, hard freight. Let me dye it. And uh, what, PVA glue, does that stick to metal? What sticks to metal? Uh, epoxy. <laughs> we'll figure that out. I'm gonna wrap it. We'll come back when it's done. Uh, thank you so much for following along and watching until this point. Um, yeah, I mean, time is important. So thank you guys and gals. All right, I'm gonna dye it, figure out how to attach it. We shall come back. What do you think? I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, I put some boiled linseed oil on it. 
I wrapped it, PVA glue worked great. You hold it there for a few minutes until it becomes tacky. And uh, it works great. I used some natural tan hide ah, leather stain. Um, you know you've got a good heavy hammer when you could hold it up on its face like that. Uh, yeah, uh, many of you might know, many of you might not know, but I'm in the metal reclamation business. I get to go through and pick out cool pieces of metal out of sand. And uh, I get a heap of these bars. I always have. Uh, a lot of the places that I've been contracted and worked for, they use these. And a lot of them get used up and thrown away. And I've always had the idea to make a hammer out of it. And so I finally did it. I just was like, well, what am I going to make today? This I'm going to finally make that. And so that's what I did. I'm happy that I wrapped it in that. I think it just gives it a little something extra. Um, something to put on the bookshelf, maybe hang here in the back. Just something cool I wanted to make. So I appreciate y'all following along. If you haven't already, subscribe. I don't know what you're doing. I mean, come on, already. And that's it. Appreciate it. Bloop, 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 bloop. If there's anything you would have done differently or if you like it. And until uh, maybe uh, we meet again. Appreciate it. And uh, have, have an awesome day. It's, it's not hard. You know, you've, you've got to want to do it. And so let's, let's do that today. Let's have an awesome day. I appreciate it. Bye! Uh, guess how much it weighs. Uh, if you guess it right, I'll, uh, find me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll send you something. So, boop, 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 boop. Ah! We done? Check check. Mm -hmm. Another one in the book.